guys. Um, I have a haul video here for you. Um, none of the items are particularly uh, weird, I should say. But all are pretty interesting and good picks, I think. I don't think I did too bad. Um, some of the stuff I got off the internet. Um, a few of the items I did get. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the video. Um, it was the cookie jar video where I went to Metamorita and uh, showed you guys the lady who has the Guinness record of cookie jars. I went back to her shop. We went for a hike there in Metamora. And she opened up and went in. We got some ice cream. And, of course, I couldn't walk out with buying some of her salt and pepper shakers. So, I got some of those to show you. And um, the reason why I'm so delayed in putting a video up this week is if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> you would know. Um, I've had a few um, unexpected issues happen with uh, storms. So, anyways, here we go, guys. First up from my online picks is this right here. Handmade antique bisque mannequin doll with jointed wood body. She is awesome. Um, I think she, she's like a, a reproduction of an antique, but it's an, actually a vintage piece. I don't know what year these were manufactured, but she is really a neat piece. She has, um, you know, a wooden body. Um, but this top up here is where she's bisque. Um, and the arms here, this portion down here, I guess, that would be exposed, like if she had clothing on, is kind of painted to match the, uh, the bisque portion at the top. But she's jointed. So you can pose her different ways and that. I think she's actually kind of cool the way she looks. Just sitting on a shelf or something like that. Just like that. But she comes, comes in the original box. And I just thought she was really neat. So I got her. And she's listed in my shop. Now if I can get the box lid back on. There we go. Okay. And I scored these. I got a whole bunch of them. These two I purchased from one listing. And then I got these. And another listing. And I hadn't looked at like apothecary bottles, vintage apothecary bottles in quite a long, long time. Because, I mean, they were just so outrageously priced. And for me to be able to resell them was just, you know, an impossibility because of not being able to get my money back on uh, on them. And the profit margin would have been so low. So, but I stumbled across these guys. Um, they still have the original labels. And um, they have the, uh, you know, the glass covering the uh, the label on them. But I'm going to keep a few, and I've got a few listed in my shop, but I thought that was an awesome score. And they all have their original ground glass stoppers, and uh, I don't know. I guess you luck out every, every once in a while occasionally. Um, I just, I guess I got lucky on these, but um, yeah. So I got those, and oh, here, I'll just push them back to the back here. slide you guys back these were um ones that i had found they're in excellent condition there is no cracks or, or scratches or anything on them um and this one is huge as you can see but um they do have the original uh ground glass stoppers also um, the only thing with these is these are not the original labels. Um, I went ahead and took some of the old new stock labels that I have. Um, and I put one on this one and one on this one. So it makes them, you know, more desirable, I think. 
um, you know, for display purposes. I just think it, it's nicer. And it goes along with the whole pharmacy type theme. So I got those. Which I think those are awesome in a display case. Especially if you love vintage medical like I do. And what else did I get online? I got this right here. Which I thought was cool because it's got the, the crow with the top hat. It's got some spectacles and a cane, and it's in excellent condition. Um, and it says, what does that say? 86 proof? The greatest name in bourbon. So, anyways, I got this guy. And... I found another one of these, although the old crow on here is kind of worn off, but he is got the cane and he's a smaller, he's a smaller version of the other one that I picked up. I do a size comparison here. See the difference? I don't know what it is. I love crows. Maybe it's because of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> I have no idea, but the fact that these guys are wearing top hats and that, I guess, is even more, <laughs> even more of a draw for me. So, anyways, got that. And, okay, next thing is from the shop. Oh, wait a minute now. I ordered these too. I thought these were cool. Saltio Day, 1861 to 1881. Hoss Thief. A rope necktie, an old oak tree, and Salty wasn't what he used to be. <laughs> but they're cool, and they've got their original stoppers, Japan marked. This one is Here Lies Pepper Tate. Hanged by mistake. He was right. Was he wrong? We... <laughs> He was right, we was wrong, but we strung him up and now he's gone. <laughs> oh, that's kind of bad. But anyways, um, yeah, this one still has its stopper too, Mark Japan. They're in excellent condition and um, they're pretty decent size salt and pepper shakers, but I thought they were cool because they're, of course, tombstones. <laughs> And, okay, now moving on to the salt and pepper shakers that I got from um, the cookie shop. I got these beauties here. The black amethyst diamond cut. Very heavy. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why they did this. They have these beautiful bases and then they put these plastic, um, you know, screw tops on here. Which a lot of those older ones are like that. They have these beautiful silver bases or whatever. And then you have these plastic tops to them. This, these are in excellent condition. Um, but still, that irritates me that they do that. And all the salt and paper shakers I got from her. I think the cheapest pair I got was like $3. And then um, all the way up to $8 a piece. And I think these were the more expensive ones. Um, but they're gorgeous and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I love those. Um, the cheapest ones I got were these little boogers right here, which I just thought they were cute because I love birds and there's no issues with them, no chips, cracks, anything. And I just thought they were so cute. And the only thing is, is that they're missing their stoppers. On both of them. This one has some kind of writing on here. And it looks like something that somebody had written. Not like a stamp. But um, I don't know. Um, but they look like they would have been made in Japan. They're definitely vintage pieces. But I just thought they were cute. And they're, you know, they're tiny little boogers. So. And um, the other ones I got. This right here. This one right here, I don't know which movie it is, but he reminds me of, like, one of those thrasher cut <laughs> horror movies or something. Because I love horror movies, but I can't for the life of me 
um, place this face, but it reminds me of like one of those puppet movies or something where the puppet's like <laughs> evil or something because of his white pasty face and stuff. I don't know. Anybody re recognize or it, it rings a bell to you, let me know in the comment section. But it looks like he had like a little chip right there on his hat that somebody had like maybe colored with a, one of those Sharpies or something. Um, his stopper's present. It looks like there's like a portion of the Japan label still left on the bottom of this one. Um, this one right here is chipped on this side and it also looks like somebody had possibly tried to cover it up with like a little bit of like yellow coloring there on that. But I just thought they were neat. Um, this one's missing the stopper. But Oh, no, wait. I can hear it in there. It's in there. <laughs> but I think mainly the thing that attracted me was because of the creepy guy on the left. Because, I don't know, he's just <laughs> something of nightmares. But they're cool. So I got those. And I got these guys because I thought they were cool. Of course, everything I think... I show you I think is cool these guys I just thought they were neat and I don't know if you know this about me but at one point in my life I did have a pet alligator and a pet caiman so when I see things like this I don't know I just I love them <laughs> um, stoppers present Japan on the bottom Japan stamp so they're definitely vintage pieces um, but they're in good condition and I just thought they were cute. And let's see. I think these are the last ones. And these are weird. <laughs> yes, they're giant teeth. Um, they are plastic. And the back portion here, like the little hinge, um, I guess, you know, because they're plastic, now, I don't know how old these are, but apparently they're old enough that this plastic piece is back here um, became brittle and just kind of snapped, um, which is like the hinge for the top. But you can just take the top right off, fill it, and then, um, you know, put the top back on. So that really doesn't matter as far as functionality goes, but I just thought they were just weird and interesting. It's not every day you see giant teeth for salt and pepper shakers. So... <laughs> I got those, and I think that was it. I finally actually did my due diligence, and I, I uh, got on myself and made my, myself list quite a few things that I had laying around here, although, although I still actually have, <laughs> I have some more stuff to list that has been sitting around here. I'm just, I'm horrible. I go through those uh, lulls, I guess, where I just, I don't know. I just, I like uh, everything else but the listing point of it. So, anyways, this is what I got. All this stuff. So, I don't know whether or not you felt like I scored or not, but I think I did pretty darn good. Nothing extremely weird, but still, nonetheless, I think they are great pieces, and I love them. So, um, I don't know what's going on. I'm as far as future goes um, I do have something in the works of doing another interview um, with another uh, person that does um, how I should say they work with bugs and uh, things of that nature so it should be very interesting so look forward to that and I am supposed to do uh, kind of a a thing with Superior Girl Vintage too, and uh, so that's going to be upcoming. So, till next time, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you see anything in this video that you are interested in, it is in my shop, and the shop link's always in the description. See you later.